Hey everyone! Welcome to part two of this um, Star Trek Online 10th anniversary. So, yeah, let's jump right in. We have seen many things in the trials. Your actions have given us much to consider, but we require more data. I think this has gone long enough, Yannick. Release us. You can remove yourself from the trials if you so desire. I believe you are aware of the consequences such an action will bring. Yes, you've been quite clear on that. Then, if you wish to proceed, the portal awaits. We know the drill, Yannick. The next trial lies this way. This is incredible. The architecture, the technology, the art. It's not like anything I've ever seen before. This is Where ancient Arcoria. During the war, I was part of the mission sent here through time. The Excalians have dropped us into another planetary assault by the look of things. There's a battle site ahead. We might be able to learn more about our surroundings by examining it. Agreed. Keep your eyes open for hostile forces, though. We don't want them getting the drop on us. More bodies. This feels like part one. <laughs> Fascinating. According to my tricorder, these soldiers are from extinct species. The Dinosians and the Ichabod. That's right. They were part of the force that attacked here to acquire tech the Iconians with help from them. If this is the fall of Iconia, we might be able to stop the chain of events that eventually lead to the war. Considering the previous trials, I can see that as the pivotal event we were sent here to encounter. I think you're right. Let's see what else we can find here. That last hit wasn't far from here. We can have heavy gunfire nearby. Keep your weapons handy. More fighting ahead. Wait. Are those Iconians? Yeah. More Iconian pets. Kill them! Let them die with their master! Not exactly pets, but... Oh. I am Tekent of Iconia. I do not recognize you, Senshi. Halt, and identify yourself. I am Admiral Zalos, Ir Lerar V. Terahila Hele, of the Romanian Republic. I do not recognize your species, but you have taken up arms to defend Iconia. That makes you an ally, and your assistance is appreciated. You have my thanks. You're welcome. I am called Lemirin. My thanks to you as well, newcomers. Our situation is quite dire. Mtara, our leader, has fallen. Iconia will soon be lost to our enemies. We must withdraw. We were trying to reach a nearby gateway when those soldiers attacked. Their reinforcements could arrive at any moment. Will you help us once we'll again? We will do what we can. Once again? Oh, yeah. Orbital attack! The warfare of cowards! Well, it's effective. For each herald they kill, I will take a hundred of theirs! For each I go in, a thousand! All of this... is here. Well, I'll call me a hypocrite because I use them too.
Gotta love those anti-proton weapon sounds from uh, the Iconians. Uh, head to the gateway platform. Okay. I think that's this way. I'm... Uh... Hold. Reading an energy spike in the gateway ahead. Something's activating it. No, yeah, no, there will be no holding. We will fight! Slay any foe that dares to cross our path! Once more under the breach, dear friends, once more. Henry the Fifth. Nice. This dark when we played uh, Midnight in the Iconian Arc. Future to get, or present to get. <laughs> I don't know. I, I oh. hear. Uh, let's start up again. I have returned to the time of my greatest failure. It sickens me to see the hell I call you in such a state, fed to ruin by the barbaric dreads of the galaxy. This time, I shall not fail. Lyric, give me the world heart. Give me the means to rid the cosmos of our enemies. To return Iconia to greatness once more. That's the, the that's the ticket from our time. How? Iconians can't travel in time! I hear the bloodlust in your voice. I see the hatred burning in your eyes. But you do not frighten me! The world heart is ours! We will use it to rebuild what has been lost! Be gone from here, demon! You will not prevail on this day! <laughs> she doesn't recognize her future self. Well, whatever. Okay. She's right. This fight, this is a fight you can't win. That energy is protecting the demon. I can discern the way to stop that, but I need time. Why isn't this awkward? The cat is fighting for his future self. Fought a war with the Iconians. Yeah, we survived, but it's uh, more probably. Oh. Uh, you need to watch my health. The console to Where? Oh. Yeah, okay. Uh. You don't have to be here The gateway is down, but someone on the side is powering it back up. Defend yourselves. Oh, now I can shoot her. Oh. I wonder if she comes to die now. I'll be fine. The break is restored. I will signal when I am ready once more. Ugh. She's a fighter. She's got sh she's shielded. Well, I guess it's a time to uh, revive K-13. Where is he? The gateway is ready. Use the console in front to shut it down. The gateway is down, but someone on the other side is coming it back up. Defend yourselves.
no she is bottom. I will signal you when I'm ready to call by hatred and a thirst for vengeance. But what did she become? They're called Borg. They're a collective of oppressive cybernetic entities. I have seen terrible things on this day. The fall of my civilization, of my beloved friends, of the totality of Iconian knowledge and culture. I cannot abide these tragedies. I cannot... Please, you can follow that monster. You can go where I cannot. I beseech you, return the world heart to me. Do not let Iconia fall to darkness. We will, Lemurin. Wow. A Borg Iconian? Well, I guess we'll be fighting Borg. Thank goodness I prepped for my Borg here. Let's equip my sniper rifle, which I always use to fight work. Something is amiss, my friends. The trial has taken a life of its own, expanding well beyond its original parameters. <laughs> We've noticed. Though I implored Yarnik and his ilk to bring the trial to an end, they have refused. They wish to see how you address this new crisis. I'm not surprised. Tread lightly. There is an ill wind blowing upon this venture. I fear one that may consume us all before the end. Thank you for your information, 
So. These Borg, are they an evolution of control? Did someone else try to recreate it later on? Not to my knowledge. Unlikely. The Borg Collective existed well before the creation of control, although when you add temporal manipulation into the equation... No, I already have a headache, and temporal mechanics will only make it worse. Yep. Agreed. Something you'd like to add, Commander? Seven. What we saw on Esau 4. Your detailed knowledge of the Borg. You used to be one of them, didn't you? Yeah. I was assimilated by the Borg at a young age and liberated by the crew of the USS Voyager later in life. The assimilation process is reversible, mostly. But it leaves scars. Inside and out. I'm sorry that happened to you. And I'm sorry to ask this now. Are we going to have a problem here? With you and the Borg? Under the circumstances, I can see how you could become... emotionally compromised. This isn't the first time I've run into Borg since my liberation, and I doubt it'll be the last. We'll be fine, Commander. If it makes you feel any better, if I go native here, you have permission to shoot me. Fair enough. Thanks. Any advice on fighting the Borg? <laughs> Good question. Right. Combat with the Borg is likely. We need frequency remodulators. Tell me when you want to proceed, and I can open the force field ahead at that time. Yeah, so Borg can adapt. We have a sniper Don't forget to equip a frequency remodulator. Well, I guess we could use one, because I've heard that now they can adapt to my ice powers. So let's do that. Let's see, what should we replace? Oh, I guess we can use the ga the gambling device now to get our boost, and then we can switch. Oh wow, failure! Of course. Uh, don't forget whatever. to equip a frequency. Remote. We'll go without. Mm, yep, frequency modulator. All right, let's go. Existence, as you note, is over. Hmm. Yep, sure. Isn't enhancing an Iconium with cybernetics a bit excessive? Oh! Fork 101. Better assimilation for cybernetics. Oh, yeah, very much. Watch out for energizing the right place. Weapons fixed up. This feels like uh, into the hive. Oh. Come on, you're not getting out of this. 
Where am I stuck? Mission could do well because uh, defeat captains um, is it? And endeavor. Interesting. These bugs don't adapt to cold damage. It's good for me. <laughs> Any more? Oh, speaking of allies. I don't like where this is heading. Oh, time's a factor here. The longer the Borg has to start out again. I don't like where this is heading. The Borg. They're relentless. We defeated them before, Commander. We can do it again. Time's a factor here. The longer the Borg have to build their forces and strengthen their position, the harder it'll be to undo their plans. Mm-hmm. Let's move out. Uh-oh, wow. Has that thing been punching you this all right, where's my bridge officer? Might as well, might as well uh, revise it. Oh, he's beyond that force field. Well, I can defend myself. I confront my past from time to time, but it usually doesn't shoot back. 
Oh, you're all right. I'll manage. We need to deal with my evil twin and the queen, however. The thought of them both running free makes me very uncomfortable. Same here. Let's get moving. Oh, no, 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 This way. Oh, okay. energy spikes in the next room. It could no be room. weapons fire. Scored. All right. Any idea what's in there, Seven? It's the personal chamber of the Borg Queen. Maybe the Excalvian sent some allies to help out. If so, they might need our help. Want me to lower the field? Yes. Let's find out what's going on in there. Hello, your highness. <laughs> Oh. Wait, that's the former. That's the board room. The board queen. Queen, queen. Or what left? Or what's left of her? Indeed. This is damn peculiar. If the Excalbians killed her, where are they now? Be careful. Whatever did this could still be around, and it might not be friendly. What? Assimilated Excalbians? That'd be bad. Um, understood. Stay sharp. Not sure if this is better or worse than what Control had planned. Pretty sure it's worse, but I'm a little biased. How timid you are. You're so frightened of perfection. Last time I checked, we're not the ones hiding in the dark. That's a good point. <laughs> Here's another. You are obsolete. Older. Weaker. Inferior to me in every way. Inferior to you? You're a pathetic copy of me, hiding behind a legion of drones. You're weak. Tell me, why have you come here? There will be no struggle, no resistance. You're a smart girl, you'll figure it out eventually. How predictable. How human. We know where that path ends. Futility. So Seven of Nine is the queen now? Alright. And a new nightmare begins. Or is, it a, or is it another poor queen? Uh, Watch the floor! Oh, oh, it is something like that. Wow, okay. That's not weird at all. Oh, that was a bad decision. Oh. Alright, well... <laughs> what is my character doing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Well, at least 8 of 13 of that. Yes, I have a liberated for um, bridge officer. Should have mentioned that. Which 
she go? And now they have a cybernetic dinosaur. What cybernetic dinosaur? Oh. Shooting now in biology. It's not a dinosaur. It's a uh, born. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Easy. And I'm still attached to the floor. That's good. Ugh. More automated defenses are coming online. Ah, no, 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 no. Well, it seems that my uh, light drainage power can't be used because of the Oh, my oh, license transfer. Right. My name's Trouble. I am Borg. I am Eternal. My victory nope. is inevitable. Ah. Oh. Alright, not now. Wait, That's... I thought we just ended. How is she still functioning? Yeah. There's so much more to you than possibly imagine. Wow, is she can heal now? Oh, there you go. You lack harmony, cohesion, greatness. It will be your hunting. Wow, you gotta run now? just got kicked again. <laughs> oh, I love her personality. You are done here at last, my friends. Are we really done? <sighs> Yo, Lincoln. I'm glad you're still with us, my friends. I'll ask you to come with me. Yarnik wishes to speak with you, and time is short. This had better not be about this ridiculous trial. Stop the trial now, we could all be at risk. Those troops are coming from previous trials. What? You said it yourself. Evil doesn't follow the rules. Nothing is sacred. 
even the life of its creator. The Borg Queen of our creation is amassing greater power. This includes the assimilation of this planet and everything on it. We must consider our alternatives while there is still time. There's no time for debate, Yannick. We need to take action. Now! Oh. Admiral, a Borg octahedron just appeared in orbit. Our sensors can't seem to determine where it came from. It's just appeared out of thin air. Understood. Tell the transport room to beam us up on, a, on my mark. We should take care of that Borg ship while we can. Indeed. Will you be joining us, Commander? Apparently not. President Lincoln has asked me to assist him with something. If I don't see either of you again, it has been an honor. Same to you, Commander. Stay safe. Transporter room is, stand by, is standing by, Admiral. Are you ready to beam up? Yes, three to beam up. Oh wow, look! Lincoln used his axe, that's... I can't believe I missed that. Well, heat of battle, probably... The Borg it. Queen is assimilating the Excalbians one by one. If she's not stopped, it's only a matter of time before she learns to use their matter-shaping powers. How much time, exactly? Difficult to say. She will learn to replicate well-known patterns first, like Borg ships. It could take her much longer to learn to make entirely new things, or to create things from imagination and memory. We'll be dead long before that happens. She has to be stopped now. Alright. Space combat. Right. But I brought some friends. The entire alliance, huh? This is Captain Jonathan Archer of the Starship Enterprise. What? Prepare to attack. All hands battle station. Oh my goodness. Let's make sure history never forgets the name Enterprise. Well, hello everyone. There's an old saying, fortune favors the bold. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Oh, I think it's time to do a little sense. assimilating of our own. Hmm? Discovery as well. Still think resistance is futile? Your Majesty? To battle! <laughs> resistance? You're a tragic collection of relics and fools. The first of many to die. Bring it on. <laughs> Alright. Special pattern, Sierra. And fire. Three. Fire!
Being down to join you there, Yanu. Alright. I think I'm gonna fly around and check out these ships before we go down. Alright, I think there we got the TOS Enterprise, and the Enterprise F, and the Enterprise D. Cool, cool, cool. Oh! Yeah, okay. Got the Enterprise F over there, Voyager, the Enterprise from Kelvin Timeline, Discovery, and the Enterprise from Discovery. Sweet. Okay. Let's get down there. I hope these trials are finally over. Huh. This has certainly been a learning experience for me as well as the Excalvians. I can imagine. I saw what I was and what I could have been, which makes me grateful for the life I have now. Still, this experience should make the next session with my counselor interesting. Indeed. In the meantime, that sensor grid in the trailer system will need some final adjustments. If you can get me back to my runabout, I can finish those. I can also speak to some Fenris Rangers about looking into the Orion smuggling activity in Trailus. Unofficially, of course. Of course. Murder. Sounds like Yarnek and his people have a lot to think about. I hope they mean it when they say they're going to pursue goodness. As for me, it's strange being... What did the Borg Queen call it? A simulacrum? <laughs> a copy and an incomplete one at that. You know? I'm based on a Starfleet science officer. I was going to figure it out sooner or later. Now that I know, I've decided to continue what was started here today. In my own way. How so? I've asked the Excalvians to make my transformation permanent, and they've agreed. So, for the Excalvians, the trials are over, but for me, the human adventure is just beginning. <laughs> Indeed. If you don't mind, I could use a ride to the nearest Alliance Starbase. I'd like to speak with Starfleet Command about reactivating my commission. Among other things. My crew and I stand ready to assist you, Commander. Well, let's talk to Lincoln then. It's been quite some time since I had to go into combat. It was an honor to fight by your side. Thank you for standing with us in battle. The Excalbians have asked me to remain as I am now, and to serve as an ambassador for this planet. 
These people have a great deal to learn about the universe, and I believe the Alliance can help them with that. And, having some experience as a statesman, I might be able to make that process a little smoother for all parties involved. If anyone can do that, it'll be you, sir. Should you return here, you will be most welcome. You've done all of us on Excalvia a great service today. One we will never forget. And for that, I thank you. Until we meet Until again, we meet my, again friend. my friend. Oh. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs> that wasn't my line. Uh, <laughs> good luck to you, sir. Farewell. And to Yannick. The advocates of good return. We have learned much from your efforts in the trials. And did you make a ruling on the matter? We did. After reviewing the events, we have decided to rule in favor of the concept of good. And will you be... Uh, and will you abide by the terms set at the beginning of the trials? We will. As we have ruled in favor of good, the people of Excalvia will pursue those virtues from this day forward. Very well. I wish you luck in your pursuits. In that pursuit, Yannick. Romans don't believe in luck. What? <laughs> and I guess we're done here. Admiral, the transporter room is ready when you are. Are you ready to beam over? Yes, for to beam up. I must applaud the developers and writers for this episode, uh, these two episodes. They're fantastically made. And I finally get this uh, thumbnail on the loading screen. Alright guys, that's the end of part 2 of uh, measure, The Measure of Morality. And I hope you enjoyed. And I will be making more videos as time comes, so like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!